CMG Editor is the easiest way to customize still and video content from Church Motion Graphics with your own text, shapes, color effects, and more. All without having to use complicated graphic design or video editing software. In our last video, we talked through the basics of using this tool. So if you haven't watched that tutorial, definitely check that out first. Because now, I'm going to walk you through the advanced features of CMG Editor. We're going to start from the homepage of churchmotiongraphics.com and I'm going to click Browse Media in the top bar. Now, it's worth noting that I am logged in under my CMG Premium subscription, which means that I have access to everything that is in this CMG Media Browser that has just popped up. Now, CMG Editor can be used with many free assets that are on the site. However, whatever content you have access to, depending on your subscription, that's what's going to determine what you can use Editor on. So because I'm logged in under Premium, we can use it on many different elements, all that are available inside the media browser. In the last video, we discussed how you can use CMG Editor with still backgrounds and motion backgrounds. But to get started today on our first advanced feature, I want to show you how you can use it on motion titles and still titles. Let's go down to Browse Media. As we hover over that, you'll see that the menu pops up. And we're going to go to the stills category and choose still titles. I like this. Thanks for joining us. Let's click that. And you'll see that on the still title, we still have the open in CMG editor option underneath the preview window. So let's click that. Our CMG editor window is going to pop up. Let's just say for this example, we want to change the color up a bit. Maybe we don't want to go with the red. Maybe we can go to our filters. And let's try something like our black and white filter. We can try a couple different ones to figure out what's going to work best for us. I really like the way this one looks. Okay, so now our still title, we have edited in CMG Editor to find a look that we really like. And we're going to click Export. And we'll have that ready to use in our church service. But let's try something else. We can close this. Go back to our media browser, hover over the browse media button, and let's try a motion title this time. Let's sort by trending just to see what's available. I really like this welcome, kind of match that last graphic we were looking at. And even though this is a motion title, we can still edit this in CMG Editor. Let's click open in CMG Editor. Our window is going to pop up. You'll see right away that a text box is added. That looks cool. Why don't we try, it says welcome. Why don't we try clicking to edit this text box? We can change it to welcome to our church. And I'm going to change our font here on the left. Let's try CMG Sans Bold. Change our font size. This is starting to look really good. Line it up here. This is shaping up. And okay, now let's click export image. Now, just like I showed you in the last video, when you are editing a motion or a video, you're gonna have to do an extra step. And it is this window where you click build motion you'll see that a progress tab is going to pop up and it's going to let you know just how long it's going to take uh, before it's completed. What's great is this is all being rendered in the cloud outside of your computer. So you don't need some kind of fancy computer or really intense machine to be able to edit video in this way. Now that it's finished, I'm going to click download. It's going to save right to our computer and it is ready to use, ready to play on our church's screens. Now we've talked a lot about still backgrounds and motion backgrounds, but now we're going to look at a completely different product. Let's go to browse media and go to the templates column. Our slide templates at CMG are designed to work really well with sermons, announcements, or really anything that you need a great graphic to be able to communicate in your church. To get started on using CMG Editor, we're going to click Announcements. 
It's only going to show us the slides that are designed to be used for holidays and events and other things that you may need to announce at your church. I'm going to click View All to see everything, and I'm going to click to sort by trending. I'm going to scroll down. I like this 4th of July picnic graphic. Let's click into that. And now I'm going to show you a great trick for when you're editing our slide templates. Inside every template, there are actually different versions available of this graphic. And you can see that some of them have titles removed. We even have blank versions and versions that are designed to display lots of information. Whatever one of these graphics we choose, before we click Open in CMG Editor is the graphic that it's going to open up. So let's say, for example, we're not having a 4th of July picnic, but we're going to have just a church cookout. We can click this blank image, still got the picture of the grill, and this time we're going to click Open in CMG Editor. Our editor window pops up. Now, we have this really interesting graphic that is ready to be edited and customized for our church. Let's start by changing the color a bit. Maybe we don't want red, white, and blue since we're going to be having this church cookout at a different time of the year. Maybe we try something like deep blue or plum. Yeah, I really like the way this looks. Let's add some text. Let's change, double click to change this to church cookout. Let's go all caps. Done. I want to change this to a different font. So I'm going over here to the so I'm going over here to the text panel. I'm going to choose CMG wide bold. Let's grab the side of the text box to stretch this text out. Now I'm going to click the drag to bring it to the top of my graphic. Kind of like the original. That looks great. Now we really need to let people know when this church cookout is. So let's click New Text, and another text box is going to pop up. We'll double click to edit, and let's say it's on Saturday, August 1st, at 4 p.m. Let's change our text to a matching one. Let's try just plain CMG Sans. Stretch out our text box. It's looking a little big, so let's bring that font size down. Yeah, this is starting to really shape up. Drag that down. You can see the guides pop up to help. And just like that, we have a custom graphic for our church cookout. We were able to take an existing slide template and change it up to fit our event perfectly. Let's click Export Image. Now we have this fantastic church cookout graphic ready to show on our screens and announce this event. Now let's try something else, a social graphic. Again, because I'm logged in as a premium user, I have access to these in a way that I wouldn't if I was a standard subscriber or if I wasn't logged in at all. We have lots of different social media graphics that can be used on your church's Facebook or Instagram or any of the other platforms. Right now we have thousands of them in our media browser. Let's start by picking one in the invite category. You can see that we can choose between squares or their stories. But for right now, I really like this one that says who's ready for Sunday. So let's click that one. Now, in the same way we could with templates, we could choose different versions of this graphic. We have one that's blank if we wanted to add our own text, but I'm going to keep this main graphic, but I'm going to choose open in CMG editor because I'd really like to add some times to this so that Maybe someone who stumbles on our Facebook page will know what time to come to church. I'm going to click text in the left panel. I'm going to double click to edit this text. And let's say we have two services, one at 9 and one at 11. Click OK. Now our text is much too big. I'm going to change it to CMG Sans. That is CMG's own font. We really love it. Very versatile. Works on a lot of our graphics. I'm going to click change our font size down to 100. Let's move this text box down. Now, that looks really great. I'm going to click export image. 
And now our social graphic is ready to use on our church's social pages. Back at the media browser, when I go to browse media, everything that's available under the layers column can actually be used with CMG editor. Remember, these all have transparent backgrounds. So if I wanted to use it on a pro title, maybe I could use, I could add welcome to church like we did before onto this one. And it, we could use it over any background or any video because it has a transparent background on this title. Or we could go to pro layers and there's lots of shapes we could add text to or change the color of the shape. But for now, I want to draw your attention to lower thirds. Now, these are a very popular item that we have in the media browser because we know how important video and streaming is right now. I love this lower third down here that has pastor's name. Now, when I click into that, just like the social graphics and the templates, then I'm going to choose this blank, choose to open this in CMG editor. Now, wouldn't it be awesome if without having to bring out Photoshop or some other editing software, you could make all of your lower thirds for a Sunday stream all within CMG editor? Well, you can. I'm going to go and add text and let's add the names. Let's say our name is Church Motion. Choose CMG Sans. We can extend our text box here, align it to the left. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's add another one. We can double click and let's say our position is graphics leader. I'm going to align it to the right, change the font size down, change the font size down to 50. And I'm going to drag it right here to the side. Now we have a lower third that is ready to use in our church's live stream. You can see that it has the transparent background. It is ready to be used on our video. Something else that's great is that you can come in after you've made your first lower third, you could come in and change the name to someone else and put their position and export all within the same window. You can even minimize it and save it for later in case you need to make an adjustment. The next advanced feature that I want to show you is that you can actually add your own images, PNG or JPEG, into the stickers tool. Let's start by going to slide templates, but this would work really with anything. I just want to be able to show you on a sermon slide. So I mentioned there's different versions of the graphics on templates, and there's actually this blank version that's included. We call it the scripture version because it's easy to display scripture over these big blank images. Say we do want to make a slide that's going to be used in our sermon. I'm going to go to our stickers panel and wouldn't it be awesome if we could add our own image. Let's click upload sticker. I'm going to go to my downloads here, find this prayer photo that I downloaded. And you'll see that it's automatically added here into our stickers panel. We click it, it's going to be added right to our slide. There it is. Now let's say we make our sermon point. Now, I've actually heard from some people that they make all of their sermon slides inside of CMG Editor, which is really amazing. Let's say point number one, prayer works. It's our text tool, let's align that to the left. Now, because we were able to add our own image as a sticker, we were able to create a really stunning graphic that's going to catch the eye of our audience as we're sharing our message on Sunday morning. And just click to export. And there it is, ready to use. Now that we're back at the media browser, I'm going to show you one final tip that you can use with CMG Editor. Now, we've shared in other videos how you can use other tools from CMG like Pro Builder and CMG Remix. You can actually use your visuals that you've created in these tools inside CMG Editor. For example, I'm going to show you by going to Browse Media. I'm going to go to Stills to Pro Layers. Choose one of these Pro Layers that are available with the shapes. And I'm going to use this with the Pro Builder tool. Choose a new selection until we find one that we really like. I like the way this looks. 
So now I could choose to download this, use it as is, or I can go in and click Open in CMG Editor. And now my new creation, whether it be from Pro Builder or from CMG Remix, I can open in CMG Editor and customize even further by changing the color or adding text. It looks awesome and is ready to use on our church's screen. Hopefully you can see the power of CMG Editor. Again, you can use CMG Editor absolutely for free on any of our still backgrounds, or if you have a CMG subscription, you can add it to things like motions and social graphics and templates. It's really an amazing tool to have. We cannot wait to see how you use it at your church.